How would you like to increase your push-up by 30%? Hi, and welcome to E3 Strength. My name is Earl, and today we're gonna to be going over the push-up. One of the most common mistakes people do when doing push-ups is they're using their lats for stability. Here's why. If I tell you hop down, do a push-up, here's simply what we're gonna see. People are lowering themselves down, not pushing themselves up. So we're gonna help you guys change that, and it's gonna be a little challenging. The first thing we ask is frame up your chest. Secondly, you're gonna start from the ground, focusing on the push up. And we haven't even gotten to the 30% yet. So if you have the shoulder mobility, this is where you start, tighten your entire body, exhale up. That's what you should be looking for. Now, here's where the 30% comes in. With your elbows in, your lats then do not have to stabilize. They're the biggest muscle in the upper body. They should be used for force. So what they're gonna do as you're going down on the part that most people focus too much on, your lats are gonna take over because your elbows are going into your body firing your lats. This is gonna allow the chest, which is doing most of the eccentric work on the down part of the motion, to rest and not be under so much stress so that it can power you back up. If you can do 10 push-ups and you're failing on 10, this will give you an extra three. It's not gonna happen right away though. This is gonna require a little bit of practice because as soon as you take this wide grip away, you have a limited ability to use your shoulders. And so many of us are shoulder dominant and work through the shoulder to do a push up. So as soon as you bring it in, you're gonna feel your triceps working more. You can't use your shoulders, so it's gonna feel like, I can only do seven, not 13. I thought he said 30% more. I did. It's gonna take some practice. The more you do it, the better you get. But the greatest part about this, it prevents torque and pain in your shoulder. One quick tip to go on, is if you can't go from the bottom up, you may have an issue in your shoulder. And many of us do. Because if you go to the very bottom of your, shoulder, of your push up, you can see that my shoulder tilts forward. This anterior tilt may be uncomfortable for you, so you may need to change your range of motion. And this is where we recommend starting from the top and lowering down. So if you find yourself having that issue, figure out where that point happens to where you have that issue, and that's where you're gonna be stopping. And your range of your push up looks a little like that. Those are a couple quick fixes that allow you to get great results in and out of the gym. We hope that this workout's been helpful. If it has, please give us a like, a comment, or a share. And for more great videos, be sure to click here, here, and don't forget to subscribe here. Thanks.